Cold open, cool. Um, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Bombardiers. I'm your host, Dante. I'm here with Rachel. Yeah, you are. And she's going to tell me about Dr. Chuck Buckle? <laughs> Dr. Chuck Tingle. And oh, how Dr. he was Chuck pounded Tingle. in the butt by his second Hugo. A Hugo is a literary award. And it's a joke because he's a terrible writer. But that's the fun. So this is a man. Um, Chuck Tingle is pseudonym of an author. And he writes primarily gay niche erotica. And it's not like none of this is actually serious like he writes about dinosaur erotica and unicorns and bigfoot and concepts oh, so and inanimate <laughs> objects he's not even a furry and it's wonderful like let me read you some of his classic titles um see these are these are all like a spoof off of erotica novels or romance novels and that's why i love it so like um oh, gay t-rex law firm executive boner space raptor butt invasion my ass is haunted by the gay unicorn colonel. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> yeah. Bigfoot butt tasting. Oh, that is a pinky. Oh, is it? Oh, there's a pinky. You were right. Oh, there pinkies. is a pinky. Yay. I love uh, pinkies. Aren't wow. they cute? The pinky is a heavy demon that charges at the player with its front armor. Its tail is its weak point. Double jump over the pinky pinkies. or dash out of the way and then shoot the tail to do massive damage. Cool. <gasps> Don't shoot the tail. He's precious. I'm going to kill that fucker. Uh -uh. By the way, if it sounds like my mouthful is yet again, I'm totally not eating gluten-free Oreos. Totally is. Get her. <laughs> totally not. I would never. She would, though. Because it's delicious. I believe that the Oreo trees are sacred and should be preserved. Sacred Oreo trees, yay! <laughs> anyway, dude's written like a hundred books at this point because he just churns these out. Um, and he's even moved into um, lesbian fiction, I think? Ooh. Lesbian erotica? Yeah. Oh, and see, here's one for, for the asexuals. Not pounded by anything. Six platonic tales of non-sexual encounters. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, see? Anyway, he's got so many books out, and because he's ridiculous and wonderful, he's very, um, very popular. Like, my macaroni and cheese is a lesbian, and also she is my lawyer. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the sort of shit you read with this. Um, oh my goodness. And I love it. Ah! The house plant that I never water gets me off. <laughs> Yeah. It's so, like, nonsensical, too. I, I think that's the part I find hilarious. It's pretty great. Also, his covers are amazing. Oh, I can only imagine. It's really, actually, really Actually, I can't wonderful. imagine. These titles are actually kind of, uh... They're kind of out there. <laughs> I'll send you some of the ones that have dinosaurs in them, because they are amazing. Oh, I would like, I, I would like to see that. <laughs> would you like to see it? Really? I mean, yeah, because now I'm curious. Now you've actually has me curious. <laughs> you has me curious, yes. That was words I just said. I don't want to like chew right in the microphone, but Oreos are great. Hey, Rachel, I, I ate an entire bowl of soup playing Ashineers. You're you're really not doing anything that's taboo here. I just <clears throat> excuse me. I have this thing about eating into the microphone. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like I don't mind when other people do it. When I do it, I'm like, they must just hear nothing but chewing sounds. But we love chewing sounds. It's the chewing ASMR. ASMR. Why do I always have a hard time <laughs> spitting that out? Mm. Shit. God damn. Our favorite friend Delapo is talking to me as oh, we're recording this. Shit. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen my good friend Delapo in uh, quite some time. Actually, I haven't spoken to a lot of people during the Christmas time. I was really busy. And I was really upset, too. I had a shitty Christmas. That's right, you told me you had a bad Christmas. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I just didn't, shit didn't pan out the way it was. Well, I was kind of upset mm. that I didn't get that fucking thousand dollar payout that I was owed. Yeah. Working with a fucking indie company. Fuck you guys, Stomperpedia. I'm so, did you, wait, did you tell me about this? I feel like you did, but I don't remember. I posted it in the, in the, uh, in the old Discord server how I was only paid half the money I was owed for working on a goddamn uh, logo for them. Just for them to turn around and say, you didn't make this to our specifications, which I clearly did, and I showed mm -hmm. them in the, and I underlined all the specifics that they wanted into it. They then mm -hmm. immediately messaged me back and say, oh, we've decided to go with, with another, uh, we've decided to go another way. 
So I'm just mm-hmm. like, oh, huh. And then they and the fuckers had the audacity to ask for the five hundred dollars back, and I said, no, fuck that shit because I made you write uh, sign a contract stating that you cannot offer refunds for the first half of the per- uh, first half of the. You cannot get the first half of your payment back. Uh, after you've confirmed that the terrible. rough draft is at least to your minimum specifications. Fuck I had to write that people. shit up last time because somebody offered a refund and I had to give it back to them. Shit. That is horrible and I'm so sorry because fuck them. Holy shit. It's a pain in the ass. It's such a pain in the ass because I really needed that fucking money. My poor love. I'm so sorry. Yeah, Christmas time is hard when it comes to like commission work and shit because like, you know, everybody's work. Ow! Everybody's uh trying to, you know, get shit for, you know, <laughs> Christmas and all that and, you know, yeah, money's tight right now because of the fucking COVID Backstreet yeah, bullshit. Mm. Uh, the Backstreet Boy reunion tour. It's pretty serious. Oh, it's very serious. It's so serious. It's put, it's, it's put an entire dividend in both my moving plans and my financial plans, which is why I'm currently trying to yes. seek employment. COVID completely fucked my business, which I was very upset about and I'm still trying to recover from. Yeah, not fun. Not fun. Um, I suppose on the plus side, it's given me lots of time to work on creative projects, which two are going exceptionally well. Um, and I'm very excited about it. Um, That's good. I will. One of them is a horror. I'd say, well, it's like the length of a novella, which if you're not familiar is like half the length of a regular novel. So it's not a short, it's longer than a short story, but it's not like hideously long. Um, mm-hmm. But I'm going to put it on No Sleep on Reddit, which I've never done before. Really? Yeah. I and I'm pretty that Reddit, excited about Reddit it. Sometimes. Oh my God, not you. Not you, anything but you. But the other is an, a legit political okay. literary thriller, and I have high hopes for this one in Ooh, the market. Political thriller. Yeah. It's going to get me death threats. Ooh. I'll protect mm-hmm. you, Rachel, because I'm <laughs> six foot five, almost 200 yes, pounds. Yes, you are. And I will literally slap a bitch. Thank you. Well, not a female, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, I was telling Michael about this book, and I was like, Michael, this book is either going to get me a Pulitzer or a Death Threats. Uh, Uh, Maybe both. Yeah. We're here for you, Rachel. We'll support you in your endeavors. Thank you, my love. Very, very sweet. Again, eating another Oreo. Why are these so fucking good? Those are Oreos. They're meant to be good. Mm. Mm -hmm. That reminded me, too. I was supposed to... I've got nothing done today. <laughs> I was not <laughs> expected by fucking. I did not expect to like receive company today. So mm-hmm. I've been. I believe I've told uh, Eli and uh, Andrew this. I didn't tell you. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. currently working on an interactive story game. Uh, oh my god! No, you didn't. Is it your own? Uh, yes. Actually, oh my it god. Is. Um, it's. I'll, I'll give you the details on it l- at a later date, but mm-hmm. uh, do you recall when I asked you to prove something for me? Oh, yeah. That is what I wanted you to prove for me. There's a passage that... Uh, mm, you never sent you know, it to me, please you know, do. Not very... Yeah, I never did, because I never... Because, all right, two things happened. Uh, mm-hmm. One, I had gotten all the coding aspects of the story portion of it done. Uh, it's mm-hmm. being done in Twine, mind you. It's like a interactive... Uh, engine where you can like code shit into it and write passages mm-hmm. and shit. Uh, two things. I got it completed. Uh, okay. got everything into the coding done and it worked flawlessly after like 15 or 16 different times I had to go through the editor. Uh, and then two, I accidentally hit the refresh, uh, oh no, force, uh, re- ah, refresh function on the fucking twine editor. And guess, oh no, guess what. 26 passages that I work on <gasps> got uh, erased. Oh my guys. god, that's so upsetting. Yeah, so I lost both code oh, no. and fucking like written paragraphs and shit oh. like that. God. I'm so damn. sorry. That is horrible. Yes, so. Oh god, I can't even. Ugh. I've had something like that happen to me only once before and I didn't have a backup. But it wasn't like 26 pages of really in-depth work. Holy shit. Yeah. It's not so much pages. Um, I wish I could explain how this, how the fucking program works. So it's kind of like an interactive story engine. Kind of mm-hmm. like what you would find. In, like a visual like, novel? No. 
it's like a choose your own adventure type deal. You okay. basically start out in like I'm gonna give you the premise of it. You start on this mm -hmm. void type area, basically. Um, okay. You don't know how you got there. Uh, you don't know like the details about yourself or anything. You just mm -hmm. know you have to escape. Um, the first two passages are basically describing like your area inside the void, and the third mm -hmm. passage basically describes you escaping the void. So it's very linear Ooh. in that aspect. The first okay. choice you get, however, after you read past the first two uh, passages, mm -hmm. is whether or not you take this entity that exists inside the void. Ooh. Now you don't know if this entity is good or bad. You just know mm -hmm. that it exists and it needs you. Mm -hmm. um, that required a ton of fucking code to put together because this interactive game and story uh, keeps track of a lot of your choices and um, shit that you do. Uh, so the portion Ooh. I was going to have you proof would have been the first three passages while I worked on the other, um, the other portions of the uh, story. Problem is, I got too adventurous in trying to figure out, you know, what this fucking engine can do. Uh, seen something that said refresh, and like, huh? I wonder if this just mm -hmm. like resets, not the not the passages themselves, but just reset the program so like everything's a little bit fresh. But I still have mm -hmm. the passages there, and it literally took out everything that I did for the day. Oh no! Like it defaulted my save. So, not only was I horribly pissed, but I, I also just said, like, fuck it, I'll do this shit another day. Which is why you didn't hear from me that day ah, gotcha. when I told you I needed you to prove something. Oh no, I'm so sorry. And then I hadn't heard from you and I was, like, trying to be funny and I was, like, spamming you with shit. Like, oh Dante, God, what's yeah. your question? Oh my God, and I must I've seen have it so too, much and worse. I meant I'm to so reply sorry. back, but I was just like, so. I was just like, oh, oh God, I'm sorry. I need to let Rachel know something, but at the same time, too, I'm fucking exhausted. Because I'm, I'm in up late nights getting this shit done. You poor thing. Like, I'm really excited to see this, though. It's it's cool. It's cool. I've, I've, and I've, on a, the Twine subreddit, not subreddit, the mm -hmm. Twine, well, I am on the subreddit, too. But the uh, Discord server and the, and the guys there have really been giving me a hand as far as, you know, formatting and, you know, mm -hmm. getting the paragraphs and shit done. I still it's need called to prove Twine? It. I want to yes. look this up. Okay. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, they really gave me a hand as far as, you know, the game, uh, the game and the storytelling aspect of it goes. Um, I'm just having a problem because there's certain coding shit that needs to be done on it that I'm not too versed in coding. Mm -hmm. So on top of working on that, I've been on Code Academy trying to trying to learn JavaScript and trying to learn C Pound, which are other like coding languages. Mm -hmm. And i like my plate has just like been like completely full. Uh, on top of that, I'm starting work soon, so there's gonna be another oh, yeah. uh, layer of shit that's gonna get piled on top of me. So um, not being familiar with this, is this going to be um, entirely text-based, or will there be graphics too? All text-based. Interesting. Eventually, I, I will add uh, artwork for like characters themselves. Um, there's going to actually be a co uh, combat aspect to it too, but I'm making it like super simple so that everybody can get into it. Either I'm going to do some type of like rock paper scissors mm -hmm. mechanic, or probably like a dice roll thing. Interesting. So, so kind of thinking of combat. As like a Dungeons and Dragons type deal, so like, that hey, fantastic. you roll fifteen for strength, you hit this character for this much or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, cool thing about the game is too, you can choose your own name, you can choose your like appearance or whatever. Oh, that is um, cool. Yeah, you can choose a race, mm -hmm. not like, not like a like African American, black, white. <laughs> But mm -hmm. like uh, different races, I haven't I haven't figured out what the race is gonna be, but they're probably gonna be like human, elf, orc. Ooh. Insert other fantasy demon shit here. I guess. Yeah, that's really fucking cool. Yeah, and it's really ambitious, and it takes and it's gonna take me a lot of time to get together. So, um, so yeah, congratulations, uh, Rachel. You're gonna be one of my uh, alpha Ooh. testers. <laughs> I would love that. And I will put help. you in the credits as well because you Aww. this is this counts as you helping me out in the game, so you're getting you're your sweet. name put on this. 
Well, thank you. And if you need any help with like copy editing or anything, just let me know. That's what I do for a living. I fucking love that. I would actually would. Um, and I won't shut I got pretty much all hands on <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I got all hands <laughs> no on this. Actually, I had somebody ask me they was, uh, because, oh God. When I described like the character creation and shit to them, they were like, "Is this a porn like interactive?" Game? I'm like, "No, <laughs> why would you ask that?" And then he described uh, Corruption of Champions to me. I'm like, "Oh, I can see where you got that. Then like, where you got that idea from." <laughs> I played I mean, it on a um, I played it on a live stream one time. <laughs> did you? I don't remember it. As a fucking dare. This was a long time ago before we even met. Gotcha. Um, I actually played Corruption the Champion on a fucking, on a bet, <laughs> um, for a friend on his channel. <laughs> it got so many fucking views and I was so embarrassed playing the game because it's like a real, <laughs> it's a, it's a fucking, it's an, it's another like interactive story type game, but it's like all sexual based. Mm -hmm. So like oh. you fuck like humans, demons, Wait, angels, I giants. This, maybe? It's, 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 it was. <laughs> it's probably still out there too. I'm not sure if the creator has actively been working on it. Um, uh, but there's like good choices, and like bad choices. Like if you eat a fucking uh, like a pepper out of something, you fucking get a, like mm -hmm. a wolf tail or some shit. If you accidentally that. fuck certain creatures, something about your body like composition changes. <laughs> it's like really, it's really fucked up, and there's a really like a lot of fucked up uh, concepts to it. Uh, nothing like too graphic, like, there's nothing like, that yeah. you wouldn't put in like a normal porno, but this is like really, somebody actually put some love into this thing, I'll just say that. <laughs> I love it.